Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, there wasn't much economic news as investors waited for the Federal Reserve meeting to conclude on Wednesday. Tweets from President Trump over the last weekend, as well as a sharp decline in Facebook, pressured markets with the Nasdaq Composite falling 1.8 percent and the Dow Industrials falling 335 points. On Tuesday, markets made a slight comeback led by energy companies as crude oil rose as OPEC took measures to attempt to decrease the supply glut. West Texas Intermediate Crude settled at $63.40 a barrel. On Wednesday, existing home sales for February rose 3 percent to an annualized 5.54 million units, and the EIA Petroleum Status Report for the week ending March 16 saw crude oil inventory decline 2.6 million barrels. The Federal Reserve finished their meeting and announced another rate hike, which was widely expected. The federal funds rate increased 25 basis points to a range of one and a half to one and three quarters percent. The Fed's forecast still has an end of year projection of rates increasing to 2.1 percent. The description of the economy was downgraded slightly to moderate and inflation risks still appear minimal. An additional rate hike was added in 2019 and this year's GDP was increased slightly by 0.2 percent to 2.7 percent. Ten-year treasuries rose on the news but ended the day down slightly yielding 2.88 percent. U.S. crude rose again to finish at $65.50 a barrel. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending March 17th rose 3,000 to 229,000, and the PMI composite flash for March declined 1.6 points to 54.3. President Trump signed an executive memorandum imposing tariffs on up to $60 billion in Chinese imports, and worries over a trade war resurfaced again, with the Dow Industrials dropping 724 points. On Friday, durable goods orders for February rose 3.1 percent compared to the prior month's 3.5 percent loss. China's Commerce Ministry proposed a list of 128 U.S. products for potential tariff retaliation. However, markets opened modestly higher. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Facebook Inc. shares plummeted to under $162 this week after a report that Cambridge Analytica, a political firm hired by U.S. President Donald Trump for his 2016 presidential campaign, gained access to private and sensitive information of over 50 million Facebook users. Alexander Kogan, a researcher at Cambridge University, gained consent to obtain users' information through his app called This Is Your Digital Life. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg spoke out after almost a week and apologized for the breach of trust, he said in an interview with CNN. Oracle Corporation announced on Monday their fiscal third quarter results. Total revenues were up 6 percent to $9.8 billion compared to a year ago. Cloud and on-premise software revenues were up 8 percent to $8 billion. Cloud software as a service revenue was up 33 percent to $1.2 billion. Oracle fell to as low as $45.73 per share on Thursday. FedEx Corp. reported on Tuesday revenue for the third quarter was $5.2 billion, an 11 percent increase from a year ago. Operating income was $634 million, a 22 percent increase from the year prior. Operating margin increased 1.1 points to 12.1 percent. FedEx sold off, falling below $236 a share on Thursday. Darden Restaurants reported on Thursday morning that third quarter total sales increased 13.3 percent to 2.1 billion, including 11.3 percent growth from the addition of 154 Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen restaurants and 34 other new restaurants. Reported diluted net earnings per share from continuing operations increased 31.8 percent to $1.74. Shares reached a low of $85.88 on Thursday post announcement. Nike Inc. reported on Thursday financial results for its fiscal third quarter. Revenues increased 7 percent to $9 billion, up 3 percent on a currency neutral basis. Nike reached a high of $69.30 per share after the announcement on Thursday. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.